Hi, I'm Monty McKinnon. Thanks for joining me today. I want to talk about the sound port jig because we're done with this puppy for now. I think it's going to work just fine and I'll explain how we got here in just a moment. Let's spin that intro and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. What we did in a previous video is we made this prototype where we had sliced this all inside. We bent it in the bender, sanded it. We did have a crack, but it, it worked out okay, and it does fit. Um, as you can see, this is perfect if you want to tape it both sides and you've got a smaller guitar and you can run this thing, the router, around here. What I have here is the base of the router, and as you can see, it will fit in here and run around just fine, even when it's taped to the side of the guitar. So that's not bad, that's a good solution. Now, what I also did was I made something just, I don't know why I did this, but I felt compelled to make something a little more sturdy. So I've got some threaded rod here with some wing nuts on either side and these will loosen off and, and tilt accordingly. I then took the side and I shaped this piece of wood here the same as the side of the guitar. So I made both of them. I taped them together, cut them on the bandsaw, ran them on the disc sander to smooth them over and they were all good. So I used this to clamp it into position so it won't move. Now what I did is I made another one of these, only I made this one out of plywood. This was made out of pine. I would have preferred that in a hardwood, but I, I thought given the, what I had on hand that the plywood might work. So I sliced it all up and down and that took forever. And I cut the oval. I'm not thrilled with this. You can see the slices on the side here. It's okay, but as you know, they become brittle and they can break off and, you know, it just might not work out quite so well. And then around the screws, what I did on the underside where it was sliced is I took some of the Starbond thin CA glue and I spread it around there, hit it with the accelerator to tighten it up and to fortify those areas to make them stronger. So these have got four screws in here and slots on the side. So this thing will slide this way or this way to line up and to center up. Now, remember the guitar tapers. So what the threaded rod does is it allows me to take this thing, angle it like this or bring it out, whatever I need to do, it will allow me to do it. But the key here in all of this is to get this oval down as close to the body of the guitar as I possibly can so that when the rotor is running around here, I get a good straight cut because later on I'm going to show you another little thing that we're going to do on, on that and how we're going to bind that. But in the meantime, this works just great and I'm very happy with it. So there you have it. We're at the final stages of the jig for the sound port hole. And now we need to move on to the peg head because I want to redesign the peg head slightly and make something a little different. And we're going to do that in the next jig video, which is coming up. Now, if you haven't sent in your pictures of your shop, why not? Come on, send them in. I'm going to feature some shops on the site so that we can exchange and see the different tools that we have. And you can tell me your favorite tools and I'll share those with everybody. And um, we'll just have a good time. So get that in here. And don't forget, we're going to have a Tea with Monty coming up real soon. So if you have some questions, go to the link down below, right beside where it says subscribe and you hit the bell and all that stuff that you do. And, and what you'll see is a link to Tea with Monty. Send me your questions that you would like me to address in your Tea with Monty and we will get on those right away. So that's it for me today. Thanks so much for being here. I'm a little tired today. I think I'm going to knock off and 
go and refresh my tea and sit down and maybe even have a little biscuit with it. Don't tell my wife. Wow, I'm telling you, this Yorkshire tea, good stuff, England, well done. All right, I'm out of here. See you in the next video. Bye for now.